We are all now guinea pigs for electromagnetic radiation. Corporations and government are now developing and perfecting a global smart grid in which each of us will be monitored and each of our slightest actions will be recorded and transmitted by billions of digital devices placed all around us in our homes and our communities. Some of those devices are placed by us. All of them are paid for by us. But the data they collect is for someone else. We will never see our data. We will just see what corporations and government want to do to us with that data. That data is used to generate more taxes, sell more goods and services, and to arrest and penalize people whose data makes them look like they are not behaving the way government wants them to behave. This smart grid would be impossible or far more difficult if it were done over wires and fiber optic networks. The cheapest way to transmit this data is by wireless transmissions. Every institution has an infinite appetite for information about you. If government and corporations knew everything about every cell in your body every minute of the day, they would still want higher resolution data. They would want to know about your molecular chemistry and your emotional fluctuations. Your anxiety could be an indicator of your guilt, and they now have ways to measure anxiety from a video or audio recording. And they now can process and analyze all that data without human assistance. It is now to the point where no one has to search for information about you. Institutional computers will now bring you to the attention of authorities and marketers when you represent an opportunity for them. The only bottleneck is how to get all the data being collected on you over to them. Wireless technologies allow them to leapfrog the task of laying billions of miles of wires and cable, and this brings the smart grid surveillance network online at a highly accelerated rate. What this means to the guinea pigs, you and I, is that every slice of available transmission spectrum will be crammed with traffic about you for the collective, the corporations and public agencies who want to sell, tax, and arrest you for fun and profit. Cramming all those frequencies with traffic will cause some major catastrophes to public health and privacy. This smart grid program has taken the obsessive compulsive approach. It is like they're saying, if a little humidity is good, then it would be even better if everyone were underwater. Saturating the biological environment with electromagnetic radiation is murder, mass murder. Biological organisms are electrical devices. Electromagnetic radiation induces electrical effects upon us. We are not designed to withstand massive bombardments of electrical induction, stimulation, and harmonic decomposition. Just as an opera singer can induce frequencies to shatter a wine glass, your cell phone, Wi-Fi computer, and smart meter induces shattering harmonics upon your body's cellular and molecular structures, your DNA. That is why electromagnetic radiation causes cancer, neurological disorders, birth defects, and a host of lesser symptoms. Electromagnetic radiation dismantles you from the inside out. In the years just ahead of us, we are about to see a whole lot more of those diseases, injuries, and symptoms. That is inevitable because we have already seen a whole lot more electromagnetic pollution of our living spaces. Billions of dollars are being made by corporations and governments by wirelessly wiring your world. They are downplaying the effects of electromagnetic radiation. They are bullying and threatening anyone who opposes the radiation rollout. They're pretending the downside doesn't even exist, and they're using all their money and power to squelch anyone who raises any inconvenient facts, evidence, or science. You may recognize this pattern from the DDT issue, the asbestos issue, the tobacco issue. In each one of those cases, those large and highly profitable industries managed through propaganda and legislative lobbying to suppress the truth until so many people died and the evidence was so overwhelming that even corrupt political leaders had no choice but to finally capitulate. DDT is now banned, asbestos is banned, and tobacco is becoming more severely restricted and taxed every day. Electromagnetic radiation is a major international industry with far more profit potential than DDT, asbestos, and tobacco combined. 
the wireless industries and tycoons are now suppressing information, attacking their opponents, spreading false and misleading information, investing billions in the rollout, and greasing the political wheels as they always do, and the political wheels are glad for the grease as they always are. Prepare to be personally exposed to levels of electromagnetic radiation far above and beyond anything ever experienced in human history. Prepare to be the guinea pig in an experiment with human cancers, mutations, illnesses, and death. Prepare to suffer that until the evidence is so clear and obvious that there will be enough victims to force the corrupt officials and the criminal corporate perpetrators to capitulate to the mountain of evidence and tragic human stories. There is no science to show that a massive overdose of EMF on the human population will be safe and harmless. All information and common sense indicates just the opposite. But this time it will be different than DDT, asbestos, and tobacco. The powers that be will never give up their wireless data collection network. They may offer to shield your digital devices. They may pay the settlements on your lawsuits. They may cry out to Congress about how vital the smart grid is for their businesses, for their security, for their profits and power, but they will not give up wireless technology without a major fight. Will you fight them? Because there are only two choices, fight or be radiated. Fight or accept birth defects, cancer, brain disease, and countless other unforeseen tragic consequences. Obviously, electromagnetic radiation must one day go the way of DDT, asbestos, and tobacco. The question is simply, at what point do we all realize that we must fight?